Now I haven't really had the chance to talk about this, but it's something that I'm really interested in, and that is the Kamen Rider Zero One comic coming out in November, released by Titan Comics. So they're doing a original story for Kamen Rider Zero One in the form of a comic, and this is going to be written by Brandon Easton, and art done by and coloring done by Henry uh, Prestrida and Brian Valeniza. I do apologize if I butchered those names, but the whole concept or the whole story of this comic is a brand new Kamen Rider showing up called Kamen Rider Ragnarok, or the villains called Ragnarok, and it's a really cool looking design, along with the artwork. The artwork for this comic, I will say, looks really cool as well, so I'm sort of viewing the image gallery from uh, Toku Nation. I'll leave a link in the description down below, but we'll also look at the variants here, but Let's look at these preview pages. I gotta say, from what I'm seeing right now, the art for this comic looks really freaking good. I really like the details in the explosions and the coloring and stuff like that with the comic. I know that Zero One's not everyone's favorite Kamen Rider series. I have mixed feelings towards it for the final arc because uh, COVID killed that show with the story it was trying to tell near the end. But I enjoy the epilogue movie, I enjoy like a couple of the early arcs in Kamen Rider Zero One. It was my first one that I started watching weekly, so I'm going to have a soft spot for it, but the show does have its problems. Um, so here's the artwork, it looks really great. Izu's drawn really good here. Uh, you can see the arc, that looks really cool. And, okay, this looks like a pretty good page. I'm wondering if there's a detailed version of Arato in here, but... The belt, draw, the belt looks like it's drawn really well in this shot as well. And they're actually going with the term Henshin, which is pretty cool as well. Um, so here's Ragnarok. Ragnarok, I think, looks freaking sweet. I'll show off the variant covers so that way you can get a better look at them. But this villain looks really freaking cool. Here's a really good shot of Izu. Izu looks great here. You've got this anime art style, this manga art style going with it with the lighting and the shading. And I think that looks really cool as well. And this whole character's design looks really sleek and really nice as well. Um, th this whole uh, presentation looks pretty good with how it's telling the action. Um, and then you've got some fight scenes here. This looks really cool. Yeah, this suit, that Ragnarok suit looks really well. Like, you kind of see, like, looks like teeth in the mask, sort of like a demon face. Looks really interesting. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I'm definitely going to check it out and cover it on the channel when it comes out. But I don't know what you guys feel about with this comic, which I'll probably find out with the views of this video and the comments I get down below. But uh, let's keep reading. Uh, let's keep looking at com uh, covers. So uh, we've got Titan Comic Titans here. Uh, they, uh, Titan Comics, I mix, mix that up. Uh, they follow me on Twitter, that's pretty cool of them, I'd say thank you for that. So let's look at their thread, because you can order this by the end of the month, pre-order it, and they've got a bunch of variants up on their, uh, site. So, here's one of them, of, let's see if it loads. Here's one of them, of, uh, Aruto facing off with, uh, Kamen Rider Ragnarok, which... It looks really freaking sweet. I do like the lava in the design. I think that looks really freaking awesome. Uh, then you've got this one. It's loading as well. This one looks really cool. <clears throat> this one looks really cool. Um, you've got Izu drawn really nicely here. And then you've got Kamen Rider. Oh shit, I forgot their names. Um, Fua and Yaiba. Um, they're so bad. I, I watched the show but I forgot their names already. Um, but yeah, you've got Fewer and Yeba in here, and I think they look like they're drawn pretty well. Uh, so let's keep scrolling. This one looks okay. It looks like they just used a bunch of PNGs for the writer, so it kind of looks like a calendar. It's not terrible, but it's very live-action-y. Uh, this one looks really great. This one I think looks really great. This one's the same one here, just a different background. You got the blank one, and here's that one. Okay, so they do a couple of palette swaps. Here's Ragnarok here, and I'm sure of Ragnarok. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Okay, here's the cover. So 
I think this looks really great. I think the cape looks really freaking awesome. Uh, you can sort of see like the, um, uh, what's the word? Like the cracks in the suit, which looks really cool as well. And then you've got Izu there, you've got Kamen Rider Zero One there. I think this is a really cool rider design for an American concept. I don't know if Toei had a hand in it, helping him to design it, but I think this looks really freaking sweet for all design wise. So I think this Kamen Rider suit looks really freaking cool for like an original creation. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think of this Kamen Rider comic? Are you going to check it out? Are you not going to check it out? I'm definitely going to be covering it on my channel later down the line, so be sure to check out those reviews when they drop. That way I can cover more Toku-related comics on the channel, so be sure to watch them and check them out. So what do you guys think of this comic? Love it? Hate it? Are you going to check it out? Are you not going to check it out? Tell me in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. With that said... I'm going to bring this video to a close. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you guys later. Peace out, take care, bye.